If you really want to screw up someone's day, use a thumper outside their house on the planet Arrakis. And then get very far away. Welcome to my intro to Dune series where I give you bite-sized introductions to the Dune universe in five minutes or under. At least I hope that's what I'm able to do. Sometimes I talk too much. The topic of this video, thumpers. So lately in my Dune lore series, I've been talking about sandworms, including what they are, their life cycle, how to ride one, spice, and more. While thumpers aren't directly related to sandworms, they were created to get their attention. As I talked about in my sandworm video, they are attracted to rhythmic vibrations on the surface of the sand, always seeking out where the vibrations are coming from to ensure that their territory is safe. They are incredibly protective of their domains. Which absolutely could mean death for you if you are the one making those rhythmic vibrations, you stay in the location, and you meet up with a sandworm. Now, I also talked about in my worm riding video how the Fremen learned to ride sandworms, but in order to even do that, they had to get their attention first, and that's where the thumpers come in. Invented by the Fremen, this apparatus was a spice plastic steak, or basically a steak made from the spice turned into plastic, with a pointed end on one side and a spring-driven clapper at the other side. The thumper worked by being driven into a windward-facing dune and activating the clapper mechanism, which would make a drum-like thumping noise, attracting a sandworm to the location. The Fremen would use the thumper to bring a sandworm to their location so they could ride it, or it was used to get a sandworm away from a location or person that was in danger. And because of its importance to survival and travel, it was in every Fremen's desert survival kit. Of course, you could use these thumpers to attract sandworms to a certain location to cause mass destruction, but what kind of absolute monster would do that? 